What's going down? Baseball Bands Channel Thor starts the show. We're back. It's another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse. It's Superboy Prime from Infinite Crisis. Infinite Crisis is probably the best crisis event of all the crisis events that have been in DC Comics. And I know that's saying a lot because there's a lot of them. My final crisis. I mean, Blackest Night is kind of a crisis level event. Um, Identity Crisis. <sighs> Crisis on Infinite Earths, that's like the first one. Um, Flashpoint is one as well. So there's a lot. So to say Infinity Crisis or Infinite Crisis is the best is a bold statement. I understand, but I stand by it because it is. So uh, we got Superboy Prime, Side Eye in full effect. The problem a lot of people have with this character is not even the Side Eye. It's the fact that he just has two open hands and no punching hands. Because Superboy Prime like punches his way out of another dimension in infinite crisis it's he's crazy he's a cool figure in this in the story uh and then he plays a part in like final crisis and i know he plays a part in like blackest night and stuff too so but this is the infinite crisis armor version of superboy prime so let's get into him All right, so he comes with, uh, got a figure card here, just him against a, a basic background. Oh, that card's kind of bent. I wonder if I did that or it's kind of like that. But there you go. That's, I mean, whatever. You do get, now I will say I like this. It's one of the flight stands. Um, the DC flight stands are not bad. They're not great, but they're not bad. Um, so there, you get a flight stand, not the handy dandy McFarland standy, but a flight stand and the card. Oh my gosh, I beheaded him, no! His head just pulled right out and I went to pull the figure out of there. Ah, boom, there we go, headless Superboy Prime. Just kidding, let me snap that back on real quick. <laughs> uh. All right, well I kinda got it in there. Nope, that thing will not hold in, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I popped that head out. Really easy getting them out of the package, and now I cannot get it back in to like stay. All right, <clears throat> boom. I like I, I like this guy. He looks good. I like the armor, the cords all over the place, the the yellow the yellow cables just running throughout this whole figure are amazing. Like they're really good. I love his armor, the back, the shoulders. Uh, double jointed elbows, double jointed knees. Yeah, he can full on. He's like almost kicking his own butt. But I like the cape. The cape is nice. The symbol, the, the S on the chest is the paint is good. It's lined up nicely. Um, like I said, if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for maybe this head issue, which isn't a real issue, I'll get it to pop back in. It's just a matter of getting it set. Uh, cause the neck, there's a little bit of separation, but that's cause I don't have the head like fully in there. Um, yeah, he's good. I really wish they would have hand missing, not having hands is a missed opportunity or not having like fists is a missed opportunity. They could at least throw in some fists in here. Like general Zod just came out and he's coming up here on the channel here real soon. He's got six pairs of hands in there, pair of fists. And he, you know, he doesn't have any other accessories. And this dude doesn't have any accessories. They could have definitely thrown in a pair, a pair of punching hands for him. Because this is a really solid figure. This is a really, really good... I just like the look of this figure. I don't even... I, I'm even side-eye, like... I don't even... The side-eyes don't even bother me that much. They really don't. He's got the big red diaper on, which, you know, whatever. I mean, it's a pretty accurate look to the, to the Superboy, to the source material, you know, in Prime. Now, like I said, I just wish they had that... I just wish they had those punching hands because it kind of hinders like what I can do with him, like poseability and like, you know, the shoulders don't get too hampered by the shoulder tops. Now they are pinned a little bit better than I've seen on the armor. They're full connected. Um, but yeah, he's got a medium high level of poseability. The ankles are good. They're lined up. They move. Not like my Lobo where one of the ankles doesn't move. Hand, like I said, the hands, they're open hands. He's like, come give me a hug, brother. Um, so, so actually having him like fight with maybe other 
things, other you know figures could be kind of, kind of difficult. But you got him grabbing, you could have him doing different things. Him flying, you could still using the hands for flying is not going to be a problem um, at all because you could just and you'll see here. I'll get it, get some nice pictures of him in flight. But yeah, he's a solid. He's a really solid figure. He's he is a really solid figure. Side eye side, and you know. My head popping off aside, I'm 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 digging this guy. Let's go, Superboy Prime Infinite Crisis. Real name, Kal-El Clark Kent. Adoptive name, an alternate reality version of Superman. Superboy Prime comes from an Earth where the DC superheroes and supervillain were fictional characters until the day his powers were activated and he became his world's sole superhuman. But after his planet was destroyed in the Crisis on Infinite Earths, the first one, uh, he became unhinged over time and eventually clashed with the superheroes of the main DC universe in the Infinite Crisis event. Ultimately, Superboy Prime was defeated and imprisoned in the Source Wall, uh, the barrier that surrounded the universe, only to break free when it was destroyed years later. However, when another crisis threatened all of reality, Superboy Prime proved himself a hero once again and helped save the DC multiverse. I can't remember if that was in Final Crisis... Or maybe that was in Blackest Night. I don't remember which Crisis Level event they're talking about, but this Superboy Prime, legit. I, I like it. I, I mean, I just, I want fists. I'm side eye good. I'm good. This is a gr- This is a good figure. This is a good figure. It could be great. It could be great. Maybe a little customization is needed to make him a great figure. But he's solid. He is definitely solid. If you get him... I'd say snag him just because what you can do with him. And I love the base armor and the base outfit. Phenomenal. You know what to do. You know what to do. Till the next one. Double deuces.